Hi everyone, this is Hannah from Kids Craft. Today I'm going to show the January new release of our products. So the first one I would like to share is these uh, paper packs. So this is the first one. For this set, you will get 16 sheets in this paper pack. There are two materials for the paper. So this one is the art paper. So you can see the details. The size is A5 size, so it's about 8 and a quarter by 4 and 3 quarters inches. The next one is this one. The size is 8 inch by 8 inch. And also there are two material for the paper. So 12 pieces of the art paper and 12 pieces of the vellum paper. And the next one is this paper pack. It can include 28 sheets of paper. And these are all with the adhesive bag. So you don't need to glue it anymore. Just die cut the shape and it will be stickers. It has 28 colors. And the size is A4 size. So you can see here, it's about 8 inch by 11 and 3 quarters inches. And the next one is this Miller Cut Stock. So you will get four colors in this set and three pieces each so 12 pieces in this set these are all the miller board it's very shiny and it's very thick okay let's come to the uh, cutting dies we released uh, this month. So first of all, I like to share the uh, typewriter series in the uh, this month. So these designs are by uh, are designed by Nico, and we just have uh, several several designs for the typewriter. So this one is the small one. It's for the typewriter tags. See here, it's put like this, and you add this to here, and you will have a hole to add your strings. And this is the stem you have for the for the uh, for the die, so you can see the wrist here.
and here is a keyboard stand. For this stand, it's used for this one, and I'll show you later. So I'll show you the samples first for the uh, for the typewriter text. And this one. And this one. So I think they are very, very cute, right? So this is, you add it as the tag. And this one is I used on the card. It's about three inches by two and two and three quarters for this one this is a uh, for the planner dies and I'll show you here so this is for the planner and you can uh, write your words here and Add it in your planner or your journal and the size is five and a half inch by five and a half inch and the next one is this pop-up set so this one is what I made when you pull out this one here So it can fold flat and then like this. So this is your typewriter and here is where the keyboard stand stands and it will make it real as the real typewriter. So you can write anything here and I'll show you the dice. So for this part is to uh, you need to uh, cut out a cardstock first and the cardstock size is about 24, 24 centimeters. So you need to make the, uh, the width of the Cardstock is 24 centimeters and it's five and a, five and a quarter inches. So for 24 centimeters, it's it's a nine and a, nine and half inches. So first, you die cut uh, the uh, so first you cut the cardstock and then you die cut this here. And to make it uh, pop out, and for this one, you can stick it here, and you can stamp on the layering piece for the keyboard part. And for this one, is stamp is a uh, is stick here, and for this part, is here. And for this small piece, it's the connection part for the paper, so it can uh, stand stand up, stand along. The next one is this layering bowls. So you can uh, have three layering pieces and the little hard buttons here. And I'll show you the example. So it's like this. Also, we made two more. And the size three and a quarter inches by one and a half inch. So this is perfect for your gift and the back toppers. 
the next one is this input tags so you will get these dies in the set see this is the basic part of the boots and these are the layering pieces also for this one you can cut it like this to make it as a shaker and these flowers are blooming here so I think this one is very cute so I made three examples here. So this is the first one and I add glitter here. And add this little tag here. Love this tag, you have so many sentiment to step on. And this one, I just made two boots and layered them together and for this one is the polka dots one so it's about four and a quarter inches by two inches the next one is this this is our tissue paper box and you have three words get well soon and this is the box I made so you can open it and this is the tissue paper So I'll show you how these are made. So this one is for the outside of the box. So die cut it once and glue them together. It will be like this. And for the these two is to make uh, the upside and the bottom side of the of the box because if we did it like this the uh, the cutting die will be too large it will not suitable for the uh, normal cutting machines you have so if we do it like this this one is shorter than it should be then it this one it will be able to shoot for the normal cutting machine you have so we de designed it like this you just need to uh, cut this two part and stick them here it will be the same so you can see here you will know what I mean and for this part is to make the inner page is this one and I just cut it one time and stick them together so this is how it made And I stamp the word hello my love and add the flowers here and the leaves the flowers and the leaves are also in our new release this month and the size is four and a half inch by two and uh, a little less than two and a half inch and the width is one inch and for the flowers and the leaves they are like this so for the flower one you will have five five flowers to layer it together and these are the leaves these are the flowers I made and the size is a one and a half inch 
for this style, you will get uh, one big one and one small one. So for the leaves, we do it like this so you can cut it once and get four leaves. You don't need to have to cut one the four times. So it will save your time. And this is how I cut out. The small one is about one and three quarters by one and a half inch. And the big one is two and a quarter inch by one and three quarters. The next one is this mushroom house. So this is the die. And this is the mushroom house box I made. And this is the card I made. So you can make the door open. And the size for the mushroom is three and a half inch by four inch. The next one is this bell stand. So you will get a stamp and a bell here. These are the sentiments you can use. This is what I made. So you can send it to your friend, to your hobby, to your girlfriend, boyfriend, mate, to your wife. And stamp them here. very sweet so I think these uh, these bells are very sweet and the size is about three inches by one and a half inch so the stamp is about five and a half inch by five and a half inch the next one is this crochet key style. So in the website, you will have two options. One is for the crochet kiss shaker, and this one is for the small crochet key style you can use as decoration on your card or memory deck card. And this one is the big one of the uh, to make this to make this shaker. So the size for this one is four and a half inch by three and a half inch, and the small one is about two and a half inch by two inch, and this one is two inch by a little over one and a quarter inch. So this is the one I made. So you will have this lips here. Let's take out it and it will be the shaker. And I stamp the, uh, the words. This is from the peppermint candy, uh, candy die set in our last release. And this is the small one. So this is the it, this is the stamp I'm talking about for stamping on the Persian kiss die. The next one is this uh, rabbit the bunny back topper. So it cuts out like this. You add the ears here. So I think it's very perfect for your uh, Esther party and the size is four and a quarter by three and a half inch the next one is 
this set. This is a thread set of our bunny tags. And this is what I made. So the size is about four and a half inch by three and a half inch. The next one is this new uh, oval dies. So for this die, it's like this. You will have the uh, this one as the layering piece, and you can die cut it here. It will leave it like this. So this one is very useful to make the uh, base part of your card and the size is 5 inch by 3 and, uh, three, and 3 quarters the smallest die is this uh, 1 and 3 quarters by 1 inch the next one is this peacock die so it's like this and the size is uh, five and a quarter by four and four and three quarters. And I made this one and add blinks here. The next one is these three stamps. So these are the background stamp. So you can make the gingham background. This is what I stamped. So this is a large size. It's, a, uh, it's about six inch by six inch. So you can make your own background and then cut it. And for these two, they can lay together or they can use a single single one. So this one is this. And this one is this. And when you stamp them together, it will like this. So you have three effects. And this one, the size is um, so for the stamp size is four and four and a quarter by five and a half inch. This is our money envelope. So you cut this one two times and stick them together like this. And then for this part, you stick it here to make the pocket. And you can put your money inside or cards or gift cards or anything. And for you also have the happy birthday words here. So it's like this and have the uh, shadow piece. So you can see this one. And for these parts, for these two layering pieces, so when you cut this one, uh, so you can put these two together and cut it so it will have a layering piece you can decorate here and also you can have the layering piece and this one together so you can cut it out and make it like this so this is how it works and I will show you the size it's five and a half inch by three and a half inch the next one is this butterfly 
so you will have four sizes in the set. And so if you put it uh, on the cut here, it will not cut, so it will left a pop-up effect on the card, like this. Also, if you cut the paper here by hand, it will be a, a butterfly and stand out. And as the layering piece, as this, as this piece is made out of the outer line so you can take it out like this and you can make the out outline shape of the butterfly and then made this layering on the top so it has many different use so this is the biggest one it's about four and a half inch by three and a half inch this one is three and half inch by two and three quarters. And this one is two and half inch by uh, two inch. And the size is one inch by one and half inch. So this is the cut I made. Just lay them together. And I also made a easel card, so it's like this. I just layer these three pe three butterflies together. So you can see this one is the outer line, and this one is with the details. These are the general release of our store. Welcome to check in our store. Any questions, please leave me comment below. I answer you as soon as possible. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.